story come to bump again, family. Because you're not trustworthy, you cannot be trusted. The, 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 the lady who looks after your finances, she said this man never steal Team, no in money. Fact, not a strong deep vetting of candidates uh, who apply, and that is critical. Yes, good afternoon, family. Dr. Cook here again. We've got a few more stories for you today. Andrew Owen is talking on how the police force is being more professional these days which we know it's a lie you know what i mean and this story i have to bring to you guys this lovely lady this story is very epic you know what i mean that to show you that no matter where you come from you still can make it in life you understand me don't matter the background listen to this and and j steven get bashed the wickedest way Ladona give it to him for this in Jamaica Carlos guys. This is something you don't want to miss. You understand me? But first I'm gonna bring the story of this woman that was homeless and look at her. This time of of the the, um, the year where we look at this whole business of cancer, cancer survivors. Um when we were having some discussions you know, your, uh, Scott, your name had come up, you know, as a, as a survivor and all of that. Um, and, you know, your, that, your story is much more than being a survivor. Your story is about the work, about doing all of these things that you do here as a constable. You've been, what, 19 years in? 19 or so years. That's a long time that you've been in and doing, doing this kind of, um, work, you know, but it's, I guess, the most, uh, well, many outstanding things, probably the most outstanding is the example you are, that you are to everybody around you, and the courage that you show, and the work that you put in. That's one thing that people of you, the work, the work, the work, you know, no matter what, the work. So that is, that is really um, excellent. Um, and so, congratulations uh, for your hard work. Um, and certainly, you know, as a commissioner, you know, I came here as well to just congratulate you on that the good work that you're doing. And the good thing about being a commissioner, you have a lot of discretion in what you do. And so, today, I'm going to promote you. So congratulations to Sergeant. Yeah. I don't know. Police officer Joy Carter was recognized and promoted for her service to the JCF. Her close El Jim is to find the police officer who found her as an abandoned baby. And the search is still on, guys. So anybody who know about a story like this, just reach out, you get me? And let her find out who that person was. Maybe the person's still alive, maybe not. So now we're gonna move on to the liar boy. We say the police force is top tip shape when the people them out there don't even know what they're doing. Listen to is this. Is the JCF moving to better states? Is the JCF elevating? My, my answer is yes, it is. There is no question that citizens are experiencing the change as they interact with the force. But there are many Jamaicans who continue to hold on to the old perspective. Or they may very well be persons within the force that the transformation has not yet reached. And they continue to behave uh, and offer service in the old way and reinforce old positions. 
But we know that transformation is taking place, first of all, when the leadership of the organization, the leadership of the entity, has made transformation a deliberate, instrumental, and a direct objective of the force. That the government of Jamaica, because I have given the directives, are vested in the transformation of the JCF. And it is not just talk. Uh, we have tripled the budget of the uh, security spending. Much of that has gone to transforming the JCF. I know that transformation is taking place because there is a, a great change in the systems of the JCF. And you see that, first of all, in your training. Uh, the entire recruitment and training process of the JCF has been revamped and upgraded. And uh, there, that is where the standard setting starts. Um, certainly with the implementation of strong vetting, in fact, not just strong, deep vetting of candidates uh, who apply. And that is critical to ensuring that we are choosing the best people who are fit for purpose, fit for task, and whose uh, uh, moral stance align with that of the values of the JCF. The second area is that the JCF has taken responsibility to ensure that the standards of the officers and the standards of service uh, is being monitored, constantly evaluated and reviewed, and where there are breaches of the standards, there is an enforcement of the force orders. So I know that the police is not waiting on an outside entity to investigate it if its members run afoul of the internal principles and values of the JCF, the JCF takes action. And that's very important because any entity that is hoping to transform itself must take responsibility and it must enforce its values. Aside from promoting the values in the organization, it must enforce. And I know that the JCF is doing that internally. All that money that you said you spend on the JCF, they don't even know how to do a traffic stop, so it don't make any difference. You need to change the people that's chaining the police nowadays. This is what we need. Change those people. So family, let's go on to La Dana. Let's see how she a kick up Andre. Listen to this. All right, let me just real quick. More and touch upon the um, Jamaica Carlos and Andre Stevens topic a little bit, right? And everybody knows, say, me have a weak spot. Me, my heart is very soft when it comes down to Andre Stevens for more than one reasons. Me just, me just have a soft spot for Andre. But let me tell you something. You say me, me I will always tell you the truth, no matter if me love you, I hate you, I dislike you. Me, I will tell you the truth. Andre, come here, let me and you have a conversation. Let's be fair and let's be reasonable because I am trying to understand why is it that you are upset with Carlos. I am looking back at the interview right and i am thinking and i'm replaying the interview in my head and i cannot understand me can't see no reason no valid reason why you are upset with jamaican carlos none me can't see you and wayne you guys were friends you introduced wayne to the internet because we never knew about him you are business partners, right? Uno are friends behind the scenes. Uno are combo, right? Uno are uno one another that are confident. Uno have disagreement, the relationship gone sour. You accuse this man of stealing $3.5 million, right? We didn't know about it. You told us about it via your Facebook page. No, when we heard that, the masses for about a week, 
when was drugged in the media left right and center this man was accused of stealing your money the things that were they said about we and oh my god without hearing when side of the story you know people jump to their own conclusion right they found their own opinion and based on them opinion then things that their opinion it was facts about this man and they not hear this man side of the story you know and for a whole week bloggers talk about it how this man thief uh, andre money because uh, you tell me that from the media right no this man don't really have a platform to express himself to speak his truth and jamaican carlos prov um, provided that outlet right he gave when the opportunity and not just when your financial advisor right i think that lady who take care takes care of your finances even the lady came on to carlos platform why are you not un angry with the, the lady hmm? why aren't you un I, i'm angry with i don't know if her name if she's the one who, where, where you know if her name is narissa or we call her grandma coming a member because that's how we addressed her on the night of the live it's not me being disrespectful right so me just say grandma because we don't know if a she named narissa i mean i want to confuse the thing right she also spoke that night but yet still you are having an issue with with with, with carlos you're not having an issue with grandma considering that grandma came on carlos platform to clear Wayne's name hmm? when was vindicated that night this lady come out and she she clarified she verified she cleared things up and she even gave us more information that we we we, we, we needed more than what we needed and you have a problem with that andre you have to be fear let's be fear if the shoe was on the other foot wouldn't you want a platform to clear your name knowing that the masses are accusing you of theft 3.5 million that can buy one piece of land one small piece of land at jamaica and somebody accuse you of that come on and jamaican carlos didn't say a bad word about you during that interview not that i can remember that man was on your side that man wanted to hear um Wayne's side of the story uh, me watching me never care about no secrets me not care about what happened behind the scenes me never care because when friend and friend come together and them are on the phone them are going to share things with them one another you understand them are going to confide in them one another because they are friend and them are trust you so them are going to tell you certain things. Me never care about the details. Me did only care for, me only care about the 3.5 million. Me only want to know say, did, they, did this man really steal your money? And he did not steal your money, Andre. Stop continuing to put this narrative out there in the public that he stole 3.5 million of your money. No, because your, 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 your caregiver, well not a caregiver, but... The, 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 the lady who looks after your finances she said this man never steal no money she explained all of that everything she explained in detail and i and i listened and i believed everything what she said and even when she had thought there were certain things that i disagreed with and if you go back and watch my video you hear me say certain things where she said me never agree with somebody in charge of your money that you know i may stand up in your corner where that was concerned because you know me just i said boy you're a grown man and you need to have your own money and blah 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 if you want to blow it that have your business or whatever but she maybe she was just looking out for you but me still never agree right so now how we come say so you have so much energy for jamaican callers let me tell you something we know come on social media and talk about loyalty and judas you and Jamaican call us a family. You know our friends. We are simply br just bloggers. We are here to give our opinion. And if we have a calling show and somebody want to call in and we show and express themselves and voice them, they are free to do so. We want to come from with this whole loyalty and this uh, support is support. You see, if you do good, me I go support you. I am there. I am there front and center. 
with my bank account, with my bank book, with my money for support a cause. You understand what I'm saying? I am there in the car, in the background. Nobody has to know what me I do. Where me I contribute to or what. But I am there. Because I support me, I support to make, you know, changes to somebody's life. For improve somebody's life. To make a difference. So me I go support the thing. You understand? But you see, when me not go support, me not go support on a frigory. Me not go turn a blind eye to certain things you want to do. Because you see, right now, Andre, me can't side with you. Where this is concerned. Because me know, say, right now, you're acting off of emotion and hurt. And you deal with Jamaican Carlos away and it is not deserving. Because he did you no wrong. And then the followers, these comment, commenters, right? They are just under the post. And them will, them just so quick. For, 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 for dismiss Carlos or for cancel Carlos. Just because. Them love you. Just because, yes, we miss you. We all miss you. But come on, we have to be fair, guys. Me don't know which interview on the watch. But me, I'll know me can't see what Carlos do to Andre. I'll know. For, for, for you come out and I go answer just because the man gave way in a platform for clear his name. And he did just that. And grandma co-signed him on that. This man, he did not disrespect you. Me never know about, let me tell you something. Me never know about Jamaican Carlos until before, with uh, um, the whole debacle. And that's the God's honest truth. Me never really know about Jamaican Carlos like that. And, uh, until this whole thing where me I see with, with, with you and Wayne. I'm going to go over the go watch. I'm going to watch one and two of his videos. And me like what me see. Because this man is a very respectable man. He's so respectful. Unlike you, Andre, because you're very disrespectful. When you go up on Jamaican Carlos, you can't even type certain things. You might go tell us, no bother with that over here. So if you used to do it over this upon another platform, don't come over here and don't do it over here. You go over there and you do it over there. So, But don't come over here with your disrespectful comments. And me rate him for that. But you... Andre, I'll be prime minister and your wife. You know, ramp for go up under them. You know, ramp for di be disrespectful. And that's why I say, when you attack a certain, uh, certain, certain uh, uh, um, um, argument, me realize, say, you're acting off of hurt. That me observe with you. You're acting off of hurt. You're hurt. You're somebody who carry around hurt and you, you, you don't know how to let it go, Andre. You understand? Don't get me wrong. You are doing good. Me see where you do good. And it is commendable. And it is applausible. Applausible or applaudable. <laughs> right? It is a beautiful thing. I me support that a hundred percent. Me rally. Round you. Me rally behind you. Where that is concerned. But you see, in a, this case, me nah side with you because me don't agree with this. And when Jamaica, Jamaica and Carlos come out swinging and lick you in a your belly button with facts because he used facts. Not things when dig up, you know. Things where him, you yourself self say. He used it for cost you. And now you're butthurt. But what do you expect? Because he never troubled you. He didn't trouble you. All he did, he gave. Someone, your friend, a platform to clear his name. That's all he did. And you're upset. But you're not quarrel about grandma who came on the on, on, on Jamaican Carlos platform. She ain't no Judas. Hmm? She ain't no Judas. Hmm? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You are, you're a highly intelligent man. I'm sure you would you, you would have liked somebody give you the time of day. You yeah, talk about this one, that one never sell you out because them them deny you know uh, 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 um they doing the interview with, with Wayne. So you think so okay, these people, oh they they they, they support you or whatever. It doesn't mean because I open my forum, I open my platform for somebody to come and share their opinion or speak then to in a mean say 
me not me, me hate you or me dislike you or me not support you no more. It just means that I am giving this person the opportunity to tell their side of the story. Right? You are saying that, oh, he's not a good journalist. He's not a journalist. He's just a blogger. <laughs> He's just a blogger. He never do no study. No, no, we never do no study. We just talk up a phone and say we are giving opinion. We are not journalists. That's why sometimes we talk with facts. No, we, we, we not get with facts right because we're not really, we're not a certified journalist. You understand? We just come and vice with opinion. And that's what it is. Come on. Me don't know if you are a certified journalist yourself. I don't know. You are not an MP, are you? You are an MP for a constituency. Me no know. Maybe you are. Me no know. Right? But we come and we have vice to opinion. Why is it such a big deal? We no come and no cost and say about this Judas. We no stop it. We no need to stop it. Don't do them foolishness, the man, because it no make no sense. When you do them something, then we no make we start to a farm alliance. It's like no this side and that side. We must, yeah, yo, listen, we, we need for grow up. We need for grow up and stop it, right? And when we have debate, we're supposed to can defice, decipher what's right and what's wrong. Hmm? What is good and what is bad. And that me I say. And when you're not favorites, when them do something wrong, come on, man. We're supposed to can come out and say, yo, me think say this was wrong and me think say that was right or whatever. That I were me believe in. Moving forward, that I were me believe in. We use your platform and split justice, man. You understand me, I say? Andre, you said, right, that when I stalk you and when I post a picture and all of these things. And me na, me, me, me na, this is not known. I don't defend Wayne because it's only a friend. I don't defend none of you. I just talk based on what I see. Right? You, and what I hear. Me hear you say how Wayne uh, terrorized you and I stalk you and I post a picture every time. You know, the last time I <laughs> go up on Wayne Instagram, right? I search for Wayne Instagram. And I look on Wayne Instagram page. And the last picture when me see that was posted of you on that man's page was from last year. I think last year, April, I think, yeah, last year, April 2022, last year, right? And the last video on his YouTube and the last video was of you, which was a good video promoting your video, right? Where you was talking about a, 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 an issue, was tackling an issue, was this year, March, this year, 2023, March. I go up on his Facebook page. And I, I me a look. I no see no picture. A one post, one picture I see. One post, yeah? Like a poster with this, you know, Nigel Clark, him, and you. They pan it. And to me, I me think, okay, maybe I'll get together and the two of go tackle this Nigel, Nigel Clark issue or whatever. I just recently, since you, maybe uh, uh, within the, 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 the last... 24 hours, me see, maybe my post one and two things pertaining to you because of the things them where you say. And why wouldn't he? Just like how you have feelings, him have feelings too. As me said, the two of you guys were friends. And the, when friendship, sometimes when friendship fall apart, Lord Jesus, sister, when they dash out, that is when they dash out. It, you know, it is, to, to, it is to be expected based on how we see things, you know, always uh, unravel over the years. And it is unfortunate and it shouldn't happen because if me and somebody fall out, Oh my God, I want God strike me with lightning if me ever come and share. I know I, I, I wouldn't even share with my friend, with my friend of another friend. Personal affairs. I don't do them type of things. Me not do that. Not even my friend. This is a friend over here. So when she tell me fear business, me not go over here. So go tell this a friend of that the friend their business. Never. Me not do them something there. And if a relationship gonna sort, if one gonna east, one gonna west, or not or sort, me could just part with ways. Me not divulge nothing at all that was discussed in private. Nothing. That's why me tell us I'm a pride myself and being confidential. Me not tell nobody nothing at all. It's got nothing to do with nobody. It not have nothing to do with my friend them. 
You understand? And it have nothing to do with the public. Me keep it locked. So me never I go endorse that. Me never I go agree to that. You understand me, I say? There are certain things, Andre, where if if any one of you have anything against anybody, I should have you. I should have you because you, you did some things, right? And when we did do my video regarding that interview, me said me now hold you accountable when you come on to certain things because maybe you do, did these things when you weren't compass mentis, meaning say you wasn't okay, right? So me said certain things me now go hold you accountable. But when you come on to releasing voice, no release, because you say you didn't release it, right? When it comes down to recording people without their permission, you understand? I their knowledge. I have a problem with that. So I, I we the public shouldn't have a go at you with that. But somehow, because we love you so much, we turn a blind eye. I forget about that. Make we be honest and make we be real. Because you see that when you do this, you know, could have cause a whole heap of problem, you know. That what you do, you know, could have cast death, you know, because you know, say, the, even if somebody tap on your toe, your shoes, as we witness, we've seen, are we hearing at the media, where the, the, the school boy tap on the other school your shoes, and he end up in a hospital. That what you do, could have cast death, because you reveal, you, you record private conversation with one female, a slag off another female, and maybe you entrusted this, with Wayne, and maybe I Wayne put it out there. I don't want to accuse somebody of what I don't know because I don't know. There are certain things where I take place where you and Wayne is concerned. Me don't know if this is true or it is false. I'm still out there because then say, when relationship mash up and cost cost, you know, bring good word and people are going to tell lie and people are going to say this and all that. So me don't know. But that, I when me know, say your record. And me not like people who do them someday. You understand? Because you're not trustworthy. You cannot be trusted. You cannot be trusted. Right? You declare this man health status to the public. And as me say, me now go to that. Because you recall the people, let me know, when he was of saying, when he was saying, you know, he was of right mind. Yeah, he was in the right mind. You record his people, conversation without their knowledge. Right? You know, you know of Wayne's health status. And you shared it with the public. Based on my understanding. Hmm? Based on my understanding. Forgive me if I am wrong. Forgive me. But me listen to the interview and me get to understand that you share it with the public. Right? And maybe you did that while you was not of seeing mine. You understand what I mean? I say, so me not, so that's, why, that's why I say, certain things where you do when you're not, when you're out of it, me can't hold you accountable. Because when you not have control over your brain, over your mind, what can we say? We can't say nothing, we can't accuse, we can't blame you. Because just imagine you not having control over your, 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 your mind. Yeah, do things where you know normally where you wouldn't do if you were seeing. Right? So we can't have a go at you where the certain things is concerned. But some people then still have a go at you because some people don't even understand mental health like that. So then I still say, yo, where him do a idiot thing and whatever. So if if we're being honest, if anybody should be upset with anybody, Andre, are we should I be upset with you? Because of things that you've done, things what we hear you are say, things that we heard. Remember, so we even hear you across your mom. We don't know your mother's side of the story. Suppose somebody forgive give her a platform for she voice her opinion. You're gonna vex. For, for she, she speak her truth. You're gonna vex with the person for them give her a platform. But yet still you come on social media and you say all kind of things. And we hear you across her. And maybe if we listen to her, it would be a different story. That's why we can't really jump on people bandwagon and listen to what them say before we hear the other side of the story. You understand? Because maybe should have come and should have paint a whole, whole pick different picture. And maybe you would have turned out to looking like the bad guy. Hmm? Suppose she reach out to Carlos 
Suppose she reach out to this lady, to a teacher, K. Suppose she reach out to Shelly Curran and say, you know what? I want to speak my truth because my son has said this X, Y, and Z. Suppose she, you're going to hate all of these people. Suppose she reach out to me, which I don't, you know, so I'm going to talk to people like that, right? But suppose she, suppose, no, no, we are not journal, um, journalists, but we are heard. People watch me and people listen to me. You understand? And she want to, she don't want to get certain things out there to the media for, so it don't look like she's a, a, a bad mother. But we, because we don't know. You understand? We don't know. So if anything, we, let me say, for the umpteen time, if we should be against anyone, Andre, are you? Because you did some foul shit. So nobody come out here and deflect and f try to throw people under the bus or whatever. The fact of the matter is that you and we and on a relationship went sour, right? And leave it at that. You say one and two little things, leave it at that. Make we move forward in the name of Jesus. Andre, you know, hundred, you know, get better fully. You understand? You know, get better fully. Look after your health. Me tell you, say, take as much time as you need. We still there, see we We wait. We still have to support you, see we when you come. Because for the most part, you do good. Take some time. No rush. Don't make social people, pe social media people, <laughs> influence you or pressure you into coming back can we tell us that wait listen yes the went on your health deteriorate when the mental health deteriorate no, deteriorate none of them that they're on you know come it take me i want you know don't look on social media and think that them is a friend and your family them is not and they don't owe you no loyalty none whatsoever not even your children them not even loyal to them one appearance more time let alone social media people. So don't bother come and say, oh, these people love me. And this. Tell us, listen, these people, they will go where the wind blows. Somebody will come tomorrow who is more educated, more knowledge, and then gone. Because they're going to look and say, boy, Andre this, Andre that, Andre this, and this one is refreshing, and this one. Fox! Fox! And then, poof! You're gone. Just like that. So don't follow them social media people. That's why I tell you, say, you see me, me not, me not, when them comment for certain things in the comment section, I'm not pay them no mind. But just talk me talk and go about my business. Yeah? Me just talk me talk and go about my business. Me appreciate them, but me don't depend on them. You understand? Me not depend on them. So come on. High frequency. Now you say that? High frequency. When they go low, we go high. I thought that he was going to come and he was going to discuss certain things in a very diplomatic way and would have just moved forward and start address certain. Kami kind of happy say they over Facebook too. You understand? Even though not being funny, I want to go back over YouTube. Me don't want to forget entangled and get involved with nobody. For sure, you should do no help if you do no YouTube. Go and sit down and watch the same YouTube and learn how to set up your YouTube channel so you can get money and get paid. Because I don't think that people in Jamaica get paid from Facebook. So go back to YouTube. Your masses will follow you. Go over there. Then they over there with you, and then then we come back again. Look at your you, look at your views on Facebook. Then we still come. You did have it over YouTube. Then we come back. Then I wait for you over there. Right? In a known time, you get your page monetized. You are smart. You don't need a friend and company for help you to build no YouTube page. You don't need no one. And that's why you need a problem. You need a problem now. Because you say it's not a tech. If you can't do, you see you do whole heap of things. You're capable. You're, 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 you're more than capable for sit down. Me see people will not even have the knowledge or education too. Look how much people they pass social media. Look how many sorry on youtube look how many people have a uh, 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 page over on youtube eh look all kids know how to navigate them way for face for, for youtube me have family members children kids over there do them look a thing and them search out and I do them look a thing hmm? you can't do it stop get, get involved with other platform holders and in, introduce them to your thing before you know again you're going to hear some money mess up and this is somebody a thief and this is somebody that come andre go to youtube watch youtube videos and how to to create a youtube page to create a youtube channel and do your thing over there right and um, you have your money i come in at your own account you have your own access to your own money 
You don't need no friend and no company and no combo of the build YouTube channel. No bother with that. Right? And who fish support you and give you your super chats. They will still do it over there and it's a come to your account and your money that and you we just a move forward with the thing. And at the meantime, look after yourself. Get some rest. Go to a hotel and just relax. If you want good two weeks, I want, you know, just just relax. We still there are weird when you see them weird. You understand? Look after yourself, man. Look after yourself. Right? So that's all me have to say. Look, take care of yourself and stay blessed.